What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Troop coming to you live and direct from the Battle Troop headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. I want to take this time out to say congratulations to Shuni, the rapper, and Fettuccini. Well, word has it that they are engaged to be married. Congratulations, brother. If that's your woman, man, that's what you want to do. And I think that should be an example to a lot of you brothers out there, man. Don't just be laying down with these women, making them your baby mamas. If you love somebody, give her the honor. Give her the honor of being a wife, of being a wife. Don't just tell that woman you love her. Don't just tell her you'll kill somebody for her. Don't just, I give you whatever you want, baby. Make her an honest woman. Regardless to her past, if she want to be with you and she love you, make it right. Make that union be blessed before the living God. Marry her. Make her a wife. Let your children grow up to see not only a father, but a husband. Let your children grow up to see not only a mother, but a wife. It's enough baby daddies and baby mamas out here. We need to get to union. We need to get to unions. When you with these women, man, respect, love them. When you with the man, respect, love him. Be in each other's corner. Learn how to strengthen and empower each other. Marriage is a union blessed by God, and that's the only union between a man and a woman sexually that he respects. That he respects. God don't respect relationships. God don't respect shacking. God respects a holy union between a man and wife and holy matrimony, marriage. And we don't have enough of that as black people. We don't. We live so reckless. We so free to drop our pants down and screw anybody. We need, to, we need to start respecting ourselves and our bodies. We need to start teaching our daughters to not be baby mothers, but to be a wife. We need to start teaching our sons not to be baby daddies, but be a husband and be a father who's willing to handle responsibility and protecting and providing for families. We don't have that enough. Congratulations to Fettuccini. Congratulations to Shuni, the rapper. Um, maybe one of the first female battle rappers, I believe, to ever may be married. Uh, uh, in the battle with her, uh, Shuni, the rapper, and um, Farrah Funeral, when they were going up against Three Hems and Loso, that was a crazy room shaker and haymaker that Loso said in that battle, like, about the Queen of the Rings. Uh, you know what? Let's just roll the footage. Y'all know I can't use none of that footage? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Anyway, um, in that battle, he just was saying, why you queen of the rings? Never ain't, well, none of y'all ain't got a ring. The cra the, it was crazy. I messed it up. I wish I could play the footage so y'all could see it. But you could watch that battle. Loso and Streeham versus Sony the Rapper and Farrah Funeral. Fire battle. Um, He said that, and it shook the room, man. It shook the room. Even they was like, that was crazy. That was fire. Well, Loso, you may have had an influence because guess what? Sony have been given the ring. Congratulations for Fettuccini, man. For, um, let me tell you something, brother. As much slack y'all been getting for being together, the history behind that woman, the history behind you, that y'all were able to weed out all the naysayers and all the hate and all the... Um, ridiculing y'all 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 had and you made that thing honest and you made that thing honest however brother however when a woman is your wife that's a private union and, and, and i'm just gonna throw this out here you're gonna know what i mean when that's your woman what happens in the bedroom is between you and her in that bedroom and nobody else Regardless to what? Respect your wife. Respect your woman. Even if she don't deserve it. Even if she don't want it. As a man, you do that because that's what you're supposed to do. You understand what I'm saying? Love is not feeling. 
like love is doing regardless of how you feel. You understand what I'm saying? I just want to say to both of you, I straight up respect and love the fact that y'all made this thing right. Keep God with you wherever you go. Trust and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. That was the first step. Y'all doing something that a lot of people, let me tell y'all something. I got to open y'all up on it too. Y'all doing something that a lot of people don't do in life. And this is also one of the number one sins that send people to hell. Fornication, sex outside of marriage, and adultery. A lot of people, man, don't understand that. A lot of people don't understand that. When you reject Jesus Christ, now you have to pay for your sin because you don't believe he died for your sins. So now you have to stand before Jesus Christ, who also is the acting judge. The same one who died on the cross for your sins is also the judge that will judge you for your sins. And when you stand before the judgment seat, he will be sitting there with the same holes in his hand for when they nailed him to the cross, with the same marks on his body as a testimony for what he did for us that we rejected when we don't accept his, his uh, death as a uh, replacement for ours. That's how much God loved us. God loved us so much that he was willing to become a man to die on the cross for our sins that we may have life eternal. When we reject and deny that, then we become responsible for our own actions that we cannot give an account to because we already broke the law of God and we are guilty. When you reject Jesus, now you got to answer for your sins. When you see that God said he don't like fornication, neither adultery, and you having sex outside of marriage, and you're not married, what happens is you have to pay for those sins. And it makes a lot of sense for anybody to say, well, why would God punish us for having sex with people? It was consensual. We both wanted it. It don't matter what you both wanted. The point of the matter is it's wrong. Let's examine and see if it's wrong. I just want to educate y'all on some things because a lot of people don't look deep into this to see this. Let's take my relationship. Let's take my relationship. I'm just going to speak on me, nobody else. I was in love. I was in love with this woman. I loved her so much. She already had two kids, though. You understand what I'm saying? She already had two kids. Which meant I wasn't the first one to touch her. And nothing I do to her, somebody else already done. Anything I did to her, somebody else already done. I wasn't the first to kiss her. I wasn't the first to hug her. I wasn't the first to make love to her. I wasn't the first to do that. Neither was she the first to do it to me. So we both were robbed and deprived of that love we have for each other to not be the first to do it to each other. She already had children. She already had children by somebody else when I wanted to be her first and last. Same thing with me. Same thing with me. And every time I look at her and she look at me, even though we see the love that we have for each other, we still know that there's a history in our lives that at one time somebody else filled because we don't appreciate our bodies and we give ourselves without having a commitment of holy matrimony. See, that's the difference between being married and shacking up and in relationships. That only means you're around temporarily until probably something better happens. But when you say you love somebody, Marriage means I want to be here. This is where I want to stay. And whatever this life throw at us, we're going to face it together. That's what marriage is. And I'm trusting that God, God who blessed our union, is going to get us through whatever this world throw at us. And we're more successful in him than outside of him. That's what marriage is. That's what marriage is. So I just want to thank you and say that congratulations to both y'all. May y'all have a healthy, beautiful relationship, marriage, 
Trust in God. Trust in God. Take him with you. Don't just leave the church and leave God in the church. Bring him on with you. Let his love, let his mercy and compassion, let his blessing flourish in y'all family. May y'all take the time to respect one another and compromise with one another. Hear one another out. May you not allow outsiders to come in and try to destroy y'all union. May you respect one another. May you respect one another. Respect him as a man. Even a man of God, even if he not. Because we speak those things that don't exist as if they do exist. And you respect that woman as a woman of God, even though she may not be. You speak life into each other. You speak life into each other. And I just want to say to you, Fettuccine, congratulations, brother. You are the head of that family. Be a responsible stand-up man like God ordained you to. Be a stand-up, responsible man like God ordained you to. You are the head of that family. Give it life. Give it life. Love your wife. The Bible say love your wife as your own body. Love her. Respect her. Be there for her. Humble yourselves. And allow the blessings of God to provide and take care of y'all, man. I thank you, brother. I, I really, really commend you on doing this. For being a stand-up man. Not afraid of commitment. Wanting to do something right. Because you believe that it's the right thing to do. And this is where you want to be. A lot of people wasn't even thinking, brother, that you honestly love that woman. A lot of brother, people wasn't even thinking that you were actually going to be there a while. They just believed to some degree you were going to stick and move, stick and move like you used to do. And guess what? You proved them wrong. You proved them wrong. So do not allow the outside world, which is coming, to come inside your house. Don't let them in your house. Don't let them under your roof. Protect your family. The easy thing about this, it's easy to get a family. It's hard to keep one. In this battle truth, it ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Congratulations, brother. Stay strong. Congratulations to you too, son. Regardless to what, y'all have a new beginning, man. Lock outsiders outside y'all house. Don't let nobody come in y'all house, man. Do not allow no outsiders to disrespect your woman. Do not allow no outsiders to disrespect your man. Be strong for each other. With that being said, this your boy Battle Truth, man. Styrofoams and ashtrays. Hit the link in the description box. It's only $1. My phone number 414-235-6760. Send me screenshot proof of purchase that you got that. When you do that, I'm going to put you in our special group, Styrofoams and Ashtray, Platinum Membership. I'm going to put you inside there. I already got three blogs in there. Nobody seen that just exclusive to the group. I'm going to be dropping more content in the group and things. I'm just getting it all together and everything like that. I'm going to be going live in there when my other pieces get here. So with that being said, man, listen. Subscribe to the channel, man. Hit the link in the description box. Get styrofoams and ashtray. It's only $1. You won't be disappointed. It go a long way, man. That's my number. Screenshot me proof of purchase that you got it. I'm going to put you in a group, and I want to thank everybody for rocking with me. And it's your boy, Battle Truth. Salute.